the market is so incredibly aggressive, yet my clients were still able to get their offer accepted for $45,000 under market value. Now I'm here about to give them keys, but I wanna give you guys a tour of the house first. Let's go. So here we are, we are in the living area. As you can see, this house definitely needs a little bit of a paint job. So this property being in Mount Washington, Mount Washington is super desirable. This property for the square footage that it has should be listed at about one, two. A high price, but this home, we can, I'll give you guys more of a tour later, but this property, it needs some work. It needs some love, it needs a facelift. So this property was actually listed for 900. My clients were able to get their offer accepted at 930,000, immediately walking into equity on their property. Now, how is that possible? The market is so incredibly competitive because I am a freaking amazing realtor. That simple. Now the structure here of this patio, this actually causes some issues too. No bueno. We had this looked at by a contractor as well. This is gonna need some work done to it. That again will probably start here in the next couple weeks. Here you do have a nice big lot, a lot of greenery. A lot of these uh, houses are built either on the hill or do you happen to have a view of the city? Okay, let's take you guys downstairs and show you the kitchen. Overall, the kitchen's not in the worst condition. It does uh, need some minor updating. I told them, encouraged them, just paint the cabinets white. Cabinets aren't actually in the that, that bad of condition. You can keep those, just paint them white. I know they do have plans to open up this wall, potentially if they can, and uh, make the flow of the house a little bit more of an open concept. I did tell them this, they cannot get rid of this beautiful yellow cabinet. Don't even touch it, not even, not even this beautiful, beautiful tile. So like I said, my clients were able to get their offer accepted on this property for 930,000. This is their first time buying a house in this kind of market. I mean, <laughs> you guys know this market is crazy. They only had to submit one offer and they got it accepted. The crazy thing is there's a house right around the corner for one, two that was in escrow in days with I think 24 offers. We were one of four and we actually bid out, we, we beat the other offers. We were not the highest offer. There was one other offer that was $10,000 higher than us. But my clients wrote an amazing letter, submitted their offer with a picture of themselves to personalize the offer. This home has been a part of the family for decades. So the sellers really liked knowing that this house is going to a family as well and not just an investor that's gonna fix the property up, make it look nice, and then resell it to somebody else. They wanted to give it to a good family, which was a perfect opportunity for my client because this house definitely needs some work. And uh, being your first house, you know, that can be stressful. But knowing that the appraisal came in much higher definitely was some good news for them to look forward to. If you haven't considered buying a house that does need some work like this one, you may want to start. Right now, the market is incredibly competitive. A lot of people are at home and they don't want to buy a house that they immediately have to come in and renovate the entire house. That's one of the reasons I think this house didn't get the amount of offers and activity on it as a lot of the other homes in this neighborhood does. This house, we were only competing with three other offers. How nice is that when so many other homes are getting 20 or 30 offers? Look at that, the seller was nice enough to leave my clients a gift. But honestly, this house, even though it does need some work, it's really got some good bones to it. This, the structure of the house is actually in great condition. The house alone, you know, there are some big stuff that you do need to be concerned about, which is why we got a contractor to come take a look at these. 
But for the most part, I mean, it's just cosmetic. I mean, like the kitchen is not in bad condition. There are not holes in the wall. It's already got recessed lighting. I mean, the house is in good condition. It just needs, you know, a facelift. One of the things you need to keep in mind when you're buying a house where the yard actually slopes up is that this wall does provide proper reinforcement. There's a number of homes where the backyard, whenever it rains, whenever you get some real heavy rains, that the water will actually come down and flood the house. You want to make sure that your backyard has proper irrigation and your walls, your retaining walls, have proper reinforcement to make sure that doesn't happen to you. Now, before putting this house on the market, the sellers did upgrade the thermostat as well as a few other things to make it easier on the buyer. Here we are in the master bedroom. You do get some good views of the mountain from out there. Beautiful carpet. I actually don't think they need to do anything. Just kidding. That's coming out. Beautiful paint color getting replaced immediately. I know they are gonna do some work in this bathroom. They decided to do this in all the bedrooms. Let me show you the others and what the colors they chose. There we go, bright, bright blue here all around. It's actually not that bad. It's not that bad of a color, but the other room's even better. Bright orange, oh my gosh. I do have to ask, why? Of, of all the choices, why? All right, so my clients are just about to get here. Let's lock up and go outside and congratulate them on their new home. A huge thanks to Mona Galastani over at Remax. You are an amazing agent. Your communication made the transaction so much easier and I look forward to doing a lot more deals with you in the future. What's up, man? What's up? Congratulations. Thank you. All of a sudden you have to ask. <laughs> wait, 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 and then it's here. <laughs> you guys wanna go open up? <laughs> it's official, you two are homeowners now. After all the work. Yeah. <laughs> when did the work start? Uh well today. Today? <laughs> We have contractors coming over uh, tomorrow and Friday. Your handyman is coming on Sunday. Oh, okay, Julio. Yeah, Julio. Yeah. So, and then we brought uh, my parents to put them to work as well. Okay. Left yeah. us. Please tell me they left you guys the massage chair. Oh, this is Hey, they left the massage chair. Oh man, this is a nice one. <laughs> this is like a iPad. <laughs> this is going to be, Bao's going to be breaking that in every night after after working here. To yeah, de-stress. this is going to be Bao's office. <laughs> Morgan and Bao, again, congratulations on Thank your you. first Bye. home. How many offers did we submit before we got one accepted? <laughs> Is our first offer. Our first offer. Yeah. In this competitive market, that yeah. does not happen very often. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you two submitted with your offer to make it stand out among the others? We, with my mom's help, wrote a really nice uh, letter about us and um, you know what, what we want to do with the home and sent some pictures with us as well, trying to get the heartfelt story. Okay. All right. Good. That's what I tell all my clients to do. <laughs> What was your experience like of the escrow process and buying your first home? I mean, in the beginning it was busy. We had a lot of stuff we needed to do. And then at one point it became, uh, we had like a moment of silence and we were think, figuring out like what's going on. Um, and then it came, became clear that we need to do a lot of stuff in a very short time. So my advice is trying to stay on top of everything. Okay. Trying to 
No, and also do some research like what is ESCO, like what is going to happen in that period and what is going to be asked of you. And also trying to do a lot of stuff before ESCO. So if you can find a lender that gets you fully approved before you're getting into ESCO, it will save you a lot of stress, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's what no. we learned that um, we did because we were really trying to get the fully pre-approved. Um, right. So then we put in the when we put in our offer, that's where we kind of felt like, oh, it's kind of silent because we had done the work like up front. We're like, is it okay that it's kind of silent? Like no. just waiting, you know, for things to happen. Um, but um, you have been so uh, responsive. Anytime mm -hmm. we're like, we have a question or text you, you're always, I'll text you, and you always call. And, um, and so that's been really helpful because we feel like we have a hundred questions and you've always been there to answer them. Thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it. Thank you. All right, so that's it for this video guys. Morgan, Bao, again, thank you so much for letting me help you guys through the home buying process. I hope you two are in love with your new home. And to everybody else, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.